Um, so hello everyone. Um, my name is Gillian Shanahan. I am the um, Oregon Donation Nurse Manager for the Sales Group. And uh, last year, um, I was one of the award winners for the the uh, QI Award, which was fantastic. And um, so I'll I'll talk a little bit about the project and where we where it started. Um, so first of all, this project um was inspired by and is a tribute to all organ donors in the sales group. Um, so I'm the organ donation nurse for the sales group. So I'm talking five sites. I'm talking Galway, Bortleonka, uh, Mayo, Sligo and Letterkenny. And this is what the box is, is inspired by and is by all those organ donor and organ donor families that I meet in my job. Um, very privileged to be an organ donation nurse manager and to work with these families through these hard times. Um, and I suppose the yeah the whole project is motivated by those people and the um, selfless act of organ donation. Um, fortunately, um, and I'm sure everybody's the same. I work with an incredibly dedicated and passionate uh, healthcare professional professionals and that who do all they can to save that life. But unfortunately, when we are unable to save the life. Um, we try and uh, ask, well, actually the core part of my job is to ensure that every family is asked about organ donation and we try and facilitate and support those families through that journey. Um, I do not work alone. I work with the healthcare professionals in the intensive care units in the West, but I also work with uh, five other organ donation nurse managers who are also in the subsequent groups around the country. So I suppose the first question is, I wonder now whether I'm after messing up my slides a little bit. Anyway. That's okay. But the first question is, I suppose, how valuable are our memories? So when I'm looking at a family at the end of the bed in the last few hours of um, the last few hours with their loved one, like how valuable are those memories? And it's something that I asked myself. And um, we often think about creating like those comforting memories for those families in the final hours with a loved one for organ donation. So when we get to the organ donation part where we're working up for theatre, there's this subsequent hours, which can feel like an eternity for a family, but actually can go pretty quick. And the feedback, so every time I have a donor, the feedback, I go back to the bedside nurse and the theatre nurses and I get feedback. And some of the feedback was, what more can we do for these families? Can we give the donor something? Can we give these families something? So the fee feedback that I got from the nursing staff and me, I suppose, there clinically um, has led to this project. And it's it's basically a collective group. So what did I need for this project? Um, first of all, it was the purpose, why we're doing this, um, the passion of what are we passionate about and what we're actually trying to achieve here, and also planning. Planning is incredibly important. So with this I suppose is identifying the need in the area in your area as well like and why you were doing this so the purpose for me was when I got that feedback nursing staff were like oh my god we're giving them they've done so much for us what can we do for them so that was part of the purpose and to identify that need and in the sales group at the time we had beautiful knitted hearts that are donated um by a volunteer group and families really appreciate that i suppose my thing with that is why does one family in galway get them and another family elsewhere doesn't get them especially if they're organ donors um so i believe that there was an opportunity to standardize memory making in the west of ireland and within the groups so when it came to, yeah, I just felt that they'd given so much and there was a passion, I suppose, to do more from myself, but the passion wasn't just with me. It was also with nurses that I that were caring for donors and their families um, at end of life. Um, so it was really important for the actual success of the project um, that it's not just me driving it. There's a team driving this and that has genuine interest in this. Um, so the planning, I suppose... The planning was a hard one, as in you really, I think when you're doing your application, you're doing your project, you're really planning about how you're going to make this happen. And um, you're planning who are your, what stakeholders you're going to engage. And you're going to, you're trying to plan about how this is actually going to work. And I didn't have just one environment to think about, I had four or five environments to think about. So planning was really, really key. And then research. Um, so research was incredibly important. Um, so 
part of the research, I suppose, is making your making your project manageable. You could research for days, but you have to come to a point where you have enough research done to figure out whether the purpose in your project is actually reflected in um research online or clinical research as well so that was really really important and so that was the need and the passion and the purpose it kind of all went into one resource and um, so what was very passionate to me in this project was about um, having an Irish company involved having something that is readily available accessible easy to use uh, something that means something to everybody involved and um. So I did an awful lot of research and resourcing and a lot of internet searches. And basically I got a kind of prototype. And then I began when I figured out my plan of how this is going to look in the units, where am I going to get my sources from? Then I wanted to reach out and get input from other expertise in the area. So I feel like my pictures haven't come up, unfortunately. But anyway, that's okay. Um, I wonder, I just want to skip on. Yeah, okay. There's a picture missing, but that's okay. So basically what started off as a very, very small box and I went to the end of life coordinator here in Galway and McKeown and the bereavement liaison officer Vivian and I showed them this very small box and and we were looking at the box and I was like, this is my plan for it. Will the, do you think this is going to work in units? And that's when it actually started to grow. So we said we'd have a bigger box. Vivian was working on a seeded poem, which is a little heart that you can plant. Then we were adding that into the box and uh, we were, um, I suppose, working together to really piece it all together. Um, so it was very important to engage those relevant stakeholders. Also talking to the nurses in their units as well to ensure that are they in agreement what they think. So I basically had a prototype of a larger box. We included the Port Leonca, um They had an award winning piece as well. And I think it was nice to include them in it as well. Um, so once I had the prototype and got a few ideas, now I had something to apply for. And that's really important that I had a plan. I had resourced how I'm going to do this. I had reached out to key stakeholders with a keen interest in my project as well to add their feedback, to work together and open up a bit of, open up a bit of, I suppose, this dialogue and what might be um, useful. So Vivian was trying to get her seated poems in um, as well. So it was kind of... Um, it was organ donation primarily, but supported with those other specialities. I'm just going to run through a few tips I found for my application form. So I would say pick a memorable project title. And I think that's really important for me going forward that it it is thinking of you memory box. This memory box is specifically for organ donors. I, it was really important I picked something memorable. My project aim is like my purpose and my passion. What am I trying to achieve and why? I had my three smart goals just to try and focus it and um, look some of my timelines didn't make it but we're getting there research I had research and evidence about why these memory boxes were important to donor families and grieving families and I'd also clinical research is what I call it which is the feedback from the nurses at the bedside a detailed project plan and this has been very beneficial to me now when I'm implementing it because I've already a plan done out of a lot of the work done and accessing um, assessing and accessing my resources. So sometimes it's about being resourceful in your own area with people's ideas and things like that. And also I'd say for your application form, it's really important to, visual is very powerful. So having pictures, having videos, if you can, I think I know I did send a video in with my, my um, project as well. And I, I was able to access some um, advice from communications on how to do that. Um, so what turned out to be a very small box with two items in it turned out then to be this box, which is yet again grown again from the application. So it's a thinking of you memory box and the idea of the box on the left hand side there. I don't know if it's your left, yeah, left hand side here is thinking of you. So the nurse, it's not from the organ donation nurse, it's from the unit it's from the hospital, it's from the group and it's the nurses thinking of you so they're thinking of that family and the thinking of you for the family is thinking of the donor. So it's about having that knock-on effect. On the front of the box, we have an imprint on the little grey tag, which is the um, tree of life. And that's about the significance of what this person is doing for another person. 
Um, there's a little bag with um, a little bow on it. And the idea of that is that the box and it does fit perfectly into that bag. So you can walk out of that hospital and nobody knows what happened or and you have privacy with that. And also it's protected so that families might open this box in six months and 12 months time and it should look the same as it does look. I mean, this, this box has been up and down the country. I mean, it does hold its quality as well. And and then inside the box, we had inkless handprints. We have the, you see the little heart that is a um, seeded poem, we're calling it, but it's a seeded heart that when planted will um, grow flowers. Uh, we have the teddy bear as well for children. Uh, I I actually used one of these boxes recently because we're just starting to get them in out there in, in, in practice recently. And the teddy bears, were they really appreciated them. Um, the thinking of you cloud there, there's a little cloud and that's to be used in the hand and it's something that you can keep in your pocket or, you know, if somebody had a wedding or a special event to go to. We have the jewellery pouch, which is Port um, They've won this award as well. So it's great to bring them with us and put it in there. Um, we have a deeper sympathy card as well. Um, strength for today, hope for tomorrow. And uh, there's a lavender bunch in there, there so that, it's meant to be a pleasant smell for them as well. Um, oh, this box, and I really think it's important. I'm a bit passionate about this. I suppose it's a personal passion about supporting local Irish businesses. So the money that um, the award that I successfully achieved, I suppose is the right word, is that it's going to an Irish company. And we have, because of this award, um, you know, we've, you know, we're, we're supporting an Irish company that's local. You know, we can pick up the phone, we can order more. Um, and there's a lot more to come from this box, I think, as well. There's already interest in different aspects of the box. Um, development since the award. So sale to unit support. So that there's five intensive care units with a bunch of nurses. Can't wait to get the box in the unit. And when, when is it coming? And can we have it now? Is the most, it's the biggest questions that I have. Challenges, look, there always will be challenges. Um, like I can't give a box to everyone in the audience. You know, I can't give a box. It has to be for organ donors. And that's why this project is manageable because I suppose it's it's my area, it's my field. And hopefully it will grow that other people will be able, in different circumstances, will be able to get something. Um, I had great support from finance departments and how to navigate the money in, how to navigate the money out as well from... um. A group perspective and where the money goes stores as well had to be involved about getting the product in vendor farms for the hse because it's public money we need to make sure that that is itemized and um you know used it's used for an irish business that's all that it's above board and everything like that and very passionate about you know making sure all that is as it should be uh secured further funding so i've now secured further funding from since this project by a family, a donor family who's fundraised and they wanted something specifically to put some money towards. I showed them the final product of the box and they have donated some money to this box. So this box is not now the 1,000 euros. This box is, I'm not going to say how much, but it, this box is not just going to be here now for a year. This box is going to be here for the next three, four years. And hopefully after that, we'll seek funding or get funding again. Um. Popular and affordable items are available in multiple sites now. So this is a new thing. So the inkless handprint, I'll just, will I go back? Maybe I'll go back. Um, the inkless handprint um, that we had there is uh, now going to be, uh, basically it's now supplied in Ireland, which it wasn't before. And it is going to be, um, you know, that the Irish company is going to be a distributor now for Ireland. Um, also, the seeded hands prints as well have, um, sorry, the seeded uh, poems are also gone um, national as well. Um, so that's only in the last week or two. So other hospitals can now avail of them. Um, yeah, so the future. So what does the future look like in relation to the memory box? So I spoke about the fundraising. Yes, we also have to launch this box as well. So um, on Oregon Donation Awareness Week, I'm hoping to launch it on the Monday and I'm securing um a local um celebrity i suppose i'm going to call them to come and launch the box i'm going to continue the promotion of the box and con continue get feedback from the nursing staff the nursing managers about the box 
And I suppose the future is hopefully we get to continue on and we get to embed the box further. And I'm sure there'll be other ideas stemming from the box. I really interested in feedback and future and it's future when I'm using the box more for donor families that we get feedback from them. I'm hoping that we'll get feedback from them. Um, so just to finalise, so I suppose this is our logo, the six organ donation nurse managers within our group. We're organ donation hospital personnel. And, uh, you know, I, I'm going to say that it's an organ donation hospital personnel project as well, because um, we're, we're, we're close in a team. And um, while this is a project in sale that, you know, we all we all support each other in our projects and our groups. So um, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, we'll be happy to take them.